Welcome back everyone to my channel. Today it is time we landed in Mauritius. Beautiful sunrise approach. Don't want to talk too much. Let's get into it. So, routing of the day took off from a 1-8 directly through Austria, along the Adriatic Sea, all the way down to Africa, passing Egypt, then Sudan, Ethiopia, later on Somalia, all the way onto the beautiful Indian Ocean into Mauritius. Right now, we got clear to descend to flight level 80, so passing 10,000 feet, landing lights back on what I did right there. Now let's talk a bit about the approach. The tower re-cleared us a couple of times with various routings since the Condor 767 was number one for the approach. Mauritius hasn't got any radar coverage, so we had to work with estimates. Estimates are basically given times by ATC at which we have to be at a specific point. The routing, which then turned out to be the final routing of the day, started out at Okma, with a direct to Gapki, we had a specific time at which we had to reach Gapki to have enough distance to the preceding Condor. From Gapki, we were cleared for a standard ILS DME runway 14, which went over Espia and then in a slight left turn to intercept the final approach track of the day. Right now we are over the waypoint Gapki, which means we have to turn right in the direction of Espia, which is our next waypoint. We're still a bit high, so we are requesting further descent, what I'm doing right now. We were given the clearance to descend further to 5000 feet in the direction of Espia. Since we're clear to 5000 feet now, which is not a flight level anymore, we have to switch our altimeters to the local QNH setting. That is commanded by the pilot flying. Set QNH. As you heard, pilot flying captain in this case ordered set QNH. I will do my altimeter and the standby altimeter. He'll do his own altimeter. After that, I say QNH cross checked, call out the altitude, and he answers with checked. We were cleared to 4,000 feet in the meanwhile and passed Espia. Right now, we are following the standard ILS DME on a track of 181 degrees to intercept the final approach course at around 13 miles out. Since Mauritius has some higher terrain in the final approach segment, the glide path indication shall only be used passing 3,200 feet. So, due to the high terrain, we had to stay at 4,000 feet up to Bigara, then descend with around 3.8 degrees down to Cure Pipe to then intercept the glide path of the ILS and fly it down. The glide path is also a bit steeper with 3.5 degrees instead of the standard 3 degrees. So for this approach it was crucial to be configured early to maintain speed and cope with the higher descent angles. Now it was time to make our final turn on the final approach track and decelerate. So flaps 1 was already set, now it's time for flaps 2. Since we already talked about the steep descent angles in the briefing, we decided to go down to 3.8 degrees with flaps 3 and gear down. So right now it was time to lower the gear and after that set flaps 3. Now the only thing missing was setting flaps full. We were out of the steep descent of 3.8 degrees on the glide path of the ILS already with 3.5 degrees. So we were missing flaps for what we're going to set right now. And right after that, we read the landing checklist. So we are basically fully ready for the landing. So we are fully configured now, ready for the approach. Only thing missing was the landing clearance that came in any second now. Unfortunately, I can't show you because we're not allowed to put um, ATC voice on YouTube. So yeah, that's it for the approach. I hope you're going to enjoy this landing now. What an amazing morning it was. Sunrise, spectacular one, flying through clouds, rain, and then having that scenic here right there. Amazing. Enjoy the landing. I'll talk to you on the ground.
not a beautiful landing by the captain. And then we made our way via Delta, which is right there at that exit, onto Yankee, to the right, all the way up to Hotel, which is coming up right in front of there. Left, right, into parking position 12. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, be sure to smash that like, subscribe and set the bell, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.